Okay, look right here. See a little black spot? That is a bear. Right outside Cades Cove in Tennessee. Now, I made a short about this bear sighting. We had so much fun. But a short just doesn't do this justice. I mean, look how perfect that mama bear is deep in the woods right before a huge thunderstorm that almost ruined the main video that we were trying to make. Again, I made two shorts about this bear sighting, but shorts don't do moments like this justice because her cubs are way up in the woods. You'll see those cubs in just a minute. But look at her. She's beautiful, and she's just munching down, gaining that weight. She's not a huge bear. I mean, this isn't like one of the biggest black bears we've seen around Cades Cove or in Cades Cove, but she's pretty good size, and we're not that close. By the way, anytime you see a bear in the wild, keep your distance. I mean, bears are kind of, you know, moody, and they like human flesh occasionally as like a snack. Now, do you see the bear cubs up there, up the hill just a little bit to the right? And you can't see them real well just yet, but I, pr I promise if you hold on to the end, I've got some really, really cute shots. But here's the thing. She was really comfortable when we first got there, but the longer we were there, the more cars started stacking up, lining up, of course, to see how amazing she is and she started turning her back towards us. And when a bear does that, a lot of times it communicates like displeasure or to avoid confrontation. So like if a bear doesn't want to be bothered, that's kind of a signal to encourage you to leave. But here's what she's not doing. She's not huffing or snapping her teeth together. She's not bluff charging or anything like that. She's wanting her privacy. She's wanting to eat. And of course, we didn't stay that much longer. The cubs couldn't care less if we're there or not, but they're so cute. I've always wanted to raise a bear. That's like one of my, I don't know, something that I thought about before. Like, can I raise a bear in the house? Can you potty train a bear? And then you could like dress it up in clown clothes. I don't know. Anyway, if you notice the two cubs up there in the right here in a minute, I've got a great shot or I zoom in, there's another um, broadside shot. She's just beautiful, man. She's barely even looking at us. She's just eating. And she's just uh, grubbing, I guess. She's probably looking for grubs or worms. I have, I, I honestly, I don't know. But she's just chomping away, man. Chomp, 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 chomp. I was really hoping that she would kind of stay facing us. She doesn't care anything about that. It stormed something fierce while we were at Cades Cove. I mean, it was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It was gorgeous, as always. And we were exiting at Parsons Branch Road. And I made a video about that last year, like wanting to make a video. That's what I should say is I wanted to make a video about Parsons Branch Road last year. We made one the other day. It's not finished yet. Largely unknown back road out of Cades Cove that goes to 129. And that'll be in a video I release here in a week or two. Of course, if you've been to Cades Cove a lot, you already know that when you see a bear, traffic backs up immediately. It gets kind of crazy. And so by the time we're finishing up, you can imagine there are cars in every direction. It's crowded and everybody has their camera out. And I don't blame them. And that's what you do in the Smoky Mountains. I was just grateful that right off the bat, we had amazing video to share with you guys of this awesome experience that we have. Look at how cute these amazing cubs are. And of course, I didn't get too close. I'm having to zoom in, and that's why the shot is grainy, because again, I'm not going to get too close to the cubs with Mama Bear right there.
So this is the first time I've made a video where I'm just kind of free flow talking with minimum editing. So let me know what you think about that. Do you guys like this better or do you like it scripted? coming out about Parsons Branch Road is going to be good. I think the name of that video is the spookiest road in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I'm telling you, it's spooky. It's a different kind of road and it kind of wigs me out. You guys know I'm not really into the whole Bigfoot alien thing. It's, it's just not my thing or feral people there in Great Smoky Mountains National Park or wild men, whatever they're called. But this road would make you a believer and I can't wait to share that video with you. Carolyn and Crystal, our youngest daughter, went to Cage Cove while I was in Kenya, and I think they saw nine bears. I mean, that's just insane. I'm not bragging, but I was seeing lions and rhinoceroses, or is it rhinoceri? I'm not really sure. By the way, I hope you check out those Kenya videos. They're pretty cool. Personally, I think the National Park Service closed this road because of Bigfoot and feral people. Prove me wrong. Content creators are always looking for ways to connect with their audience. Back in the day, this is how I connected. I held the phone and I talked to the audience and man, I was just grateful when people commented and hit the like button and occasionally subscribed. It was great. And we got away from this for a long time, but I'd like to get back to connecting with the audience, connecting with friends. I mean, there are people on here that I've met through the channel that have become friends over the years. We've been making content for almost seven years. We've had a blast doing it. You've made it a blast. And videos like this, well, it's kind of experimental. I mean, normally when I'm doing a voiceover, it's scripted, it's all typed out. This time, it's just sort of a free flow of consciousness, kind of like this is right here and you edit around it. You just throw it in the computer and a lot of it gets left on the floor and you keep the best that you have. Sometimes it's not a lot. This time it was kind of cool because I really wanted to share this experience with you of seeing a bear at K Cove and what kind of an experience that is, especially if you've never been to Cates Cove, Great Smoky Mountains National Park is amazing. I'm still blown away by the fact that there are 2,000 black bears or close to it in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Don't ask me how they come up with that number. I have no idea. I guess it's an about, like an approximate, an estimate. I think that's fascinating, especially here on the East Coast. I know out West, there's all kinds of big wild animals and dinosaurs, maybe. I don't know about the dinosaurs, but here back East, that's kind of a big deal. You're not far from Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. I mean, all, I mean, this is a great place to visit. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Here are some other videos I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. My name is Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life.